Have you ever wondered why a stick insect resembles a twig, or why a butterfly's wings might mirror the eyes of an owl? These are the intriguing phenomena of mimicry and mimesis at work, the grand illusionists of the natural world. Mimicry and mimesis are two distinct strategies employed by animals and plants to deceive and survive. They are the masters of disguise, the Houdinis of the animal kingdom, using their bodies and behaviours as their magic cloaks and wands. Mimesis in particular is intriguing and is divided into three categories. First, there's allomimesis, where organisms mimic inanimate objects. An example of this is the living stones plants from Africa that are so convincingly like stones you'd be hard-pressed to tell them apart. Then there's phytomimesis, where animals mimic plants. Certain grasshoppers and stick insects that resemble plant are prime examples of this kind of mimesis. Lastly, we have zoomimesis, where animals mimic other animals for the purpose of blending in. Certain insects that live undetected in ant nests are a fascinating illustration of this technique. Each of these forms of mimesis demonstrate the incredible adaptability and inventiveness of nature's creatures. Mimesis refers to the way certain organisms adapt their appearance and behavior to blend seamlessly into their environment. This biological camouflage makes them virtually invisible to predators. A prime example is the leaf insect, which has evolved to look exactly like a leaf, down to minute details like the veins and spots, making it nearly indistinguishable from its surroundings. But the art of deception doesn't stop there. Enter mimicry, the biological equivalent of a masquerade ball. In this fascinating ploy, organisms imitate the appearance, sounds or behavior of another species to gain an advantage. This could be to ward off predators, to lure unsuspecting prey or even to attract mates. Take, for example, the harmless milk snake, which mimics the deadly coral snake's vibrant bands of color. Predators fearing a venomous bite steer clear of the milk snake, allowing it to slither on unharmed. Another astonishing example is the mimic octopus, which can impersonate a variety of different sea creatures such as lionfish, sea snakes, and even crabs. Now you might be asking, how do these incredible tricks of nature come about? The answer lies in the slow and steady process of evolution. Over countless generations, organisms that are better at blending in or fooling their predators and prey survive to pass on their traits. This survival of the sneakiest leads to ever more sophisticated forms of mimicry and mimesis. So, to recap, mimesis and mimicry are nature's grand illusionists, elaborate ruses crafted by evolution. Mimesis is the art of blending in, camouflaging oneself to become one with the environment. Mimicry, on the other hand, is the art of imitation, copying another species to gain some form of advantage. These fascinating phenomena remind us of the complexity and beauty of the natural world, and the never-ending game of deception and survival that takes place within it. From the leaf insect, that disappears amidst foliage to the mimic octopus that transforms into a myriad of sea creatures, mimicry and mimesis continue to astonish and bewilder, underscoring the magic that is nature's carnival.